Deion Sanders is a standalone figure. He's a celebrity. He's a Hollywood celebrity uh, masquerading as a head football coach. This is one of Coach Prime's haters, Paul Feinbaum, the New York Times bestselling author and ESPN commentator. He is going off about Coach Prime. But before I play the rest of the clip and then come back at the end to give you my thoughts, hit the like and subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and don't forget to comment below. I admire what he's done. He's inspired a lot of people. His son and Travis Hunter are great. But, I mean, when you look at the numbers, uh, I mean, there's nothing to get excited about. Uh, I, I told somebody the other day, I thought the University of Colorado in the big picture of college football was irrelevant. Dion cracked back at that. Good for Dion. I don't care. Um, but once we get into the season, you and I aren't going to be talking about them anymore. Uh, I'll let Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp and, and The Rock and, you know, every other – celebrity in the world show up on the sidelines but i'm i'm going to be talking about the teams that matter in college football and colorado is not one of them yeah let me let me piggyback on that for a second uh anyone asking whether Deion sanders and colorado are close to the playoffs simply doesn't understand the reality of the road they're, they're not going to the playoffs this year and i'm not sure Deion Sanders is ever going to get them to the playoffs because I don't think he has the patience to stay at Colorado long enough. There, there's so many misconceptions out there. Deion Sanders is the best salesman I've ever seen. I, I, I personally love the guy and for what he stands for. But the program looking out has, has a ridiculously inflated view of itself. I heard Shador Sanders, who's a fabulous quarterback, say last week, we are everyone's Super Bowl. Shador, you are not. You are an easy win nowadays. You got off to a phenomenal start last year, beating a couple of mediocre teams that had big names. And, and quite frankly, you haven't done anything since other than crash and burn. So I know that the media loves this story. We fall all over ourselves. But Colorado isn't important in college football. Deion Sanders is. Uh, he's a standalone person. He's, he's one of the most charismatic people we've ever seen. But Colorado is nothing. They don't matter. Uh, they're irrelevant in the big picture of college football. Well, there you have it. That's Paul's opinion. And like I said, he spared no expense. He really went in. We'll see, though. I do agree with him on some levels. I do think that, you know, Coach Prime is still young in his coaching career. So there's always going to be opportunities for him to improve. I think this year will be a uh, another humbling experience for him. And hopefully after this year, he will make the necessary adjustments to be the success that I know deep down he wants to be and that I hope he can be. I will say also, I don't know if Coach Prime does have the patience it's gonna take to get to a championship. Once his kids are off into the league, you know, we'll see. We'll see how long he sticks around. Maybe one or two years. And maybe you'll say, you know what, I'm rich. I'm a rich man. I really don't need all this stress. I, I can see him bouncing. All that said, though, hit the like and subscribe button. Please subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell. And don't forget to comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.